Tommy Miley, it's been a while since we talked, and uh, I haven't been able to say congratulations. President's Cup champs again. Let's yeah. let. Can you roll it back that far and tell me? Uh, you know that was a good performance by your team. Yeah, so finally we got to perform in November, and uh, we were working and working and working, not knowing if that trip was going to be able to take place. But uh, right at the last minute, we were able to get you know COVID, the COVID tested that we needed, and we were able to fly out with men's tennis, and it was a great trip. So uh, we got to fly Mill Air, and of course that's always fun because you're you know, you're kind of the a pack together and in, in dealing with that situation and. Um, you know, just knowing that we're able to fly in and, and compete was uh, something that, you know, at least made our, our fall worthwhile. You know, it's very tough to just train and train and train and not know exactly what you're training for, having no end in sight. But there, you know, the President Cup was able to take place. Navy, Navy and Coast Guard were able to also attend. And uh, we shot okay um, the first day. You know, we, we were just, we squeaked it out by one point. And that's the closest it's been, you know, since, you know, we've won it in the last, what, seven years or whatever. That's the closest it's been. So you know, they're close on our heels. And then the second day, uh, Army, actually one of their top shooters uh, wasn't feeling well. It wasn't COVID, we found out later, but uh, that one of their top shooters did not perform. And uh, so, you know, in the long run, we ended up winning by quite a few more points the second day. And that was just a head-to-head against Army. But that score will probably be one of the scores that we will use to hopefully get us to nationals. We need three top scores uh, to to average out and then we add that into our qualifier but uh, we've got some work to do. You know we uh, we finally found out we were able to actually have a season and so we did go to to Nebraska and Alaska the last couple weekends and we're finding out that we're not quite as ready as we need to be so uh, we work hard and we'll get ready for this weekend. Can you attribute that to maybe some of the uncertainty? Maybe your team was, you know, more ready back when they played Army. Maybe you have more gung-ho, and and now it's like, wait a minute, there's a season? Yeah, it is tough because, yeah, right after Army, you know, with nothing in sight, you know, so we really had like almost two months of just, you know, what what are we getting ready for? When is it going to happen? Um, you know, and, and really until we got back here in January and uh, got through the ROM period, which is, you know, just not doing anything, uh, when we finally got through that, we, we knew we were able to get ramp up and get ready. So a week is a little, uh, you know, a little less time than we would like. And, uh, you know, we went into Nebraska pretty raw. Um, I can only say that our, our, practice, our practices have been, you know, really good and uh, we know that those there's a lot loaded and kind of ready to to come to fruition but you know we've got to get some more match experience every time we shoot a match and then when we shot in Alaska we shot about 10 points better than we did in Nebraska so hopefully we just keep building that way we know we've got points you know literally loaded in the barrel uh, because practices have been very strong but um, you know we just need that match experience. You'll get some more this weekend. TCU and UTEP coming to your place. Yep. And I know it's it's rifle, but there's got to be some kind of comfort if you're sleeping in your own bed and things of that nature for such an intense sport. Yeah, and yes, yeah, so you know we have a very specific routines, and you know our routine is is used to being here at the academy. So, you know they'll put into play you know when when they want to get up, when they get breakfast, and when they get warmed up and ready to shoot. And so that's. You know, when you do it day in and day out, you kind of have, uh, you know, strength and, and, like I said, comfort in, in the home field advantage. But, you know, we've got we've to perform no matter what. And, um, you know, we'll just, uh, it's, you know, it's time, to, it's time to put it together when it counts. Yeah. In, in a lot of sports, people would look at a top opponent like TCU and go, okay, we got it fired up. But in your sport, where there's such concentration needed, how do, we, do you try and keep yourself from being fired up? I mean, how, how does it work exactly? Well, you know, we set our goals according to what, you know, each individual sets their goals according to what their capabilities are. Because if you try to shoot 10 or 20 points higher, knowing you need that, you know, to compete against uh, these top teams, uh, you, you're already setting yourself up for worry and, you know, destruction. So uh, we set our goals according to what we're shooting. You know, like uh, we'll take a look at our, 
each individual's you know highest score perhaps for you know in a practice match or in, a, in an actual match and we just set it a couple points higher than that you know you always want to be working towards something but nothing that is so far out of reach that you know you can't you can't do it from the get-go so it's just enough to keep you focused and you know needing to keep working but it's not so much that you go in there you know like i said feeling like you don't have the capability I know I ask a lot of coaches, what do you want to see from your team this coming week? And there's there's things they can point to. Do you have something you can point to that you'd like to see your team do in this competition against these two teams? Well, it's what we want to see nobody else knows is going on. You know, because our big thing is uh, is recovering from, you know, not a very successful shot. You know, the, the quickest way and the best way to recover. And really, we don't even want an unsuccessful shot. So... So you wouldn't even know, you know, if, if things are starting to, like, go a little bit haywire, I want them to fix them before, you know, before there's, you know, shots on the board that we have to recover from. So uh, what we want to do is, is, again, be strong mentally and, and know when things are starting to kind of come apart and, and put it back together before there's a problem. So you can't see that coming, but, you know, co- you know, Rifle coaches can see that coming, and and that's kind of the thing that we want to work on right now. Perfect. Bonnie Miley, good luck this weekend. Yep, thanks so much.